positive the never energy. ending <laughs> river of positive energy. Water's fine, boys. <laughs> Just dive on in. <laughs> that's dive the in, that's the intro right there. <laughs> How hard do you feel like it is to hit in general? I mean, they don't say it's the hardest thing in sports for no reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if, you know, you got so many days, day after day, you go after it, and it's like, you can have a great day, go on play, get a hit, or you can smoke a ball right at somebody and not get a hit. It's just kind of like, all right, it's a good at bat, but like, it doesn't do anything for your, for your stats. Right. You know I mean, that's, that's where the grind starts to come in. Like, yeah, I'm smoking a ball, hitting it hard, I'm, I feel good at the play, but I'm not getting anything out of it. Yeah. And that's when it's like, all right, the middle game starts playing into that. It's when it gets even harder, you start changing things that you don't need to change, and it's just kind of like, God, oh, great, now I'm, now I'm really struggling. Yeah. That's interesting, just because, like, I, like, I don't know, I never, like, I don't think it ever really bothered me if I, like, hit a ball hard and got out. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, I always felt like I won if I hit the ball hard. Yeah. That's how it should be. Right. <laughs> That's how it should be, but I'm not always there. I hit a ball hard, I feel like I deserve a hit, but then you also just, like, cap a ball and just, like. Back it up and dump it. Yeah. yeah. A good old back it up and dump yes. it. Or just like you got beat, but then you get a hit. Yeah. So, so would you, like, I mean, would you say that feels as good as like winding out feels bad? Honestly, I think it depends too. Because for me, if there's like a really good pitcher on the mound and I line out, I think that's a win. You know what I mean? Anytime I hit the ball hard, I think it's a win. Right. But like, you know, if I also find an infield single or, or like get a little number for a hit, I'm like, I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think all hits feel better. All hits are better yes, than all, all outs. All hits are better than all outs. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how I do it, I want the hit. Right. The line out is like, it's bittersweet, but like, I'd rather get a swinging bunt and get the knock. Then, then have a ball 110 and it gets caught. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want the hit. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, see, I'm like, I don't know, like, sometimes, sometimes, like, the weak hits to me feel like, it's, it's almost like a, uh, it's almost like when you get, when you get on, like, on a drop third strike, where it's like, yeah, yeah. where it's like, yeah, like, I mean, I know, like, the stats are good and stuff, but, like, I don't know, I just got beat, and now, like, I'm just out here, and I have to run and stuff. <laughs> like, I always, I always tell people, like, the best thing about lining out is like everybody wins. Like yeah. you get you get your hard contact. Like you feel good as a hitter. The pitcher got it out. He's stoked. Infielder probably made a great play. He's stoked, and you don't have to run. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a good point. It's a spring training out right there. Spring training. Yeah, that's out. a great spring training. Great out. spring training out. Yeah, it was kind of happy. Then like the out of the other crazy part for me is like about how hard hitting is, it's just like one day, like the day to day change in like yourself. Like one day you're in the box and you're like, I'm doing everything right. Yeah. Like this is what I, this is what, this is what we practice for. And then you get yeah. and like, and then it's like the next day and it's not, it won't even be like a nasty pitcher or something. It'll be like the same type of pitcher, yeah. same conditions, <clears throat> everything. So you did the exact same routine, you ate the same food. And you feel completely different. Yeah, I had a buddy, a buddy of mine a couple years ago. He was like, "Hitting, hitting sucks because you know, regular, you know, it does." <laughs> but like, think about it. You're gonna get like 400 at bats, right? 400, 450 at bats. Sometimes maybe 500 at bats. 100 at bats, you're gonna feel like absolute crap. You're not gonna get a hit no matter what. You can do everything right. You're just not gonna get a hit. Right. Another 100 at bats, you can do everything wrong or anything. You can blink. You don't have to look at the ball. You're still gonna get a hit no matter what. Yeah. And then there's like 200, 250 at bats where you just have to grind it out. And that's where the season is. Like, yeah. in those 200, 250 at bats, that's where you make your money. Right there. Yeah. So you just kind of have to grind it out. That's the way to get it done. That's a really good uh, yeah. point. I like that. Cause, like, yeah, that's something I realized. Because you, like, you get hot, right? And you're like, this is it. Like, <laughs> I figured out how to be a big one. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, I don't know, you, like, realize, like, 
everybody has like everybody that's good, right? Like everybody that like probably at like the professional level, like has like big league stretches where like yeah. they're as good as the best player. They're conscious. Yeah, but then like everybody gets out of that at some point, and then what you do when you're not in that? Yeah, yeah. that's a big thing. That's something I've been trying to work on because I'm getting better at it. The highs and lows. I got some. Some really big highs and <laughs> some really <laughs> low lows in my career, and it's it's that middle ground. Yeah. yeah the, I mean, I guess just same thing, but the way I thought about it, just highs and lows, and trying to trying to keep those highs, but maybe not maybe not fall <laughs> for that, some raise that, that floor, raise that floor, floor you know? yeah. Just trying to raise the floor. Yeah. That's where the numbers and that. Feel single, the fun, swing and buns, that's where they come to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might go one for three or one for four, but that one might be that info single that can help you out a little bit. Yeah. 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 yeah value, like value in those, like, those little wins on tough days, yeah. like yeah. The, the 0 for four instead of an 0 for five, or yeah. like a, or, you know, the one for, yeah. The one for five is huge. Yeah. Love a one for five. Oh I say, I say you go one for four, mixing a walk there. It's a pretty good day. Yeah. It, could, it could be a really bad day, uh -huh. but you know. I was listening to Aaron talking about mixing in a walk. <laughs> Where? <laughs> hey, there's Dude wakes up and, with three ball counts. Hey, there's sometimes I'm just like, I don't know how to hit today. Maybe I can work a walk. Maybe if I get one, I'm like, all right, cool. That's a good day. I might be over for three, but I can work the walk. Ah, yeah, that's good. Mm. Getting that walk in there so huge. Not that I get many of them, but <laughs> they, they, they definitely help. I mean, you go, you get four at bats, you go, all right, you're one for four, but if you can turn one of those into a walk, it's like you just went from a 250 hitter to a 333 hitter. Yeah. Because of a walk. Like, man. I, I will say, like, a four pitch walk in your first at bat. Might feel better than a knock. Yeah. Like, uh, like, like, a, like, a, like a single. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You get yeah. a double. That's all. Like, uh, extra base hit is always better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, oh, 100. I don't know. It's almost like there's pressure with the first first AB knock. Whereas if you if you just eliminate the first AB, yeah, then it's like yeah, anything I do, it's is, already so much better day. Yeah. Like unless in, I mean unless you're like batting 400. You know, like once you like eliminate the first at bat, it's like this is gonna my like everything's gonna go up if I get a knock. Yeah, yeah that is true. It makes the day a lot easier. Less pressure, less pressure on the day. How much? How much do you guys think about like like stats during the game? Would you say? Oh, uh, I mean, not not that. I've been looking at it more the past two years, so maybe I probably should have done that <laughs> before. I guess, I don't know, I'm like, I think, was I talking to you about like my checklist? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I have a checklist, like trying to get two hits, get on base twice, get a homer, RBI, or a stolen base. So I just mm -hmm. have like that mental checklist. Yeah. So during my day, like I'm trying to check these things off. Trying to check as many boxes as you yeah. can. Yeah, so I mean, that. it's not necessarily a stat, but like, yeah, I'm trying to check Tra those things. Yeah, you're tracking your so, day a little bit. Yeah. I start, I started trying to calculate. I've been like this year. I set it to the Trowbridge, and then I like started doing it. Like I, I uh, started like trying to calculate my OPS like as the day goes. Yeah. Um, I like OPS a lot, yeah. and it's a little, it's a little less frustrating than like doing your average. Yeah. yeah. Average sucks. Average is <laughs> bad, man. That's such a trap. Like, during the games, I don't even look at the scoreboard. Yeah. I might glance at, like, on base, but everything else I don't. You know right. I, mean? I don't want to look at it because, you know, say you're 0 for 2, and it's the 5th inning or 7th inning or whatever, and it's like, oh, man, now I really got to get a hit from here. Yeah. The ninth inning, if I get up, more probably, like, I don't need to do that stuff, man. Just, like, I don't think I've looked at the scoreboard, like, my stat in, like, a week. You know what I mean? I just try, I try not, really hard not to. And for some, you know, it's kind of it's, it's kept me 
just kind of calm and just like kind of mellow, like, hey, whatever happens, happens. I don't know where I'm at, nor do I care where I'm at. Yeah. And then I know as soon as like I start looking at it, I'm like, all right, now I gotta get this, get higher. Right. Start stressing out a little bit. I don't, I don't need that stress. It's already stressful enough. Ain't like, nobody got time for that. Yeah. yeah. Those man, the especially the places that like calculate your average as the game as goes. the game goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was, it's the worst Sioux Falls. I got, dude, I got trapped. I got trapped in Sioux Falls. I guess Sioux Falls had the wrong average. Yeah. Like, I, like, so I was, oh, really? <laughs> so I was, like, I'll be like, I was kind of tasting myself a little bit. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was, like looking at my average, and then like. And then we got here, and I looked at the scoreboard, and it was like twenty points lower. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Wait, something adding up right now." Yeah, all oh, bad. Yeah, I realized that. I think it was Sioux Falls. Like, got to hit my first at bat, and then you don't the rest of the game. <laughs> so it's like, all right, cool, or. Actually, I think I got two, but whatever. So, like, technically my average went up on the day. But you still saw like, I got on my first two at-bats, and then I just watched it drop the rest of the game. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man. And I look back, I was like, oh, actually, I rose it today. Like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good day, but. I think we talked about it, too, as it falls, when you, like, you peak early in the game. You know, you get two knocks, and then the next three A-Bs you get, it's just. A terrible, it feels like a terrible day. Yeah. But it's really like a really good day. You get two home runs, but you get a couple strikeouts like, damn, right. it suck. But do I? I just went, I do home runs. You get yeah. that, well, yeah, because you get the home runs give you that, like, especially when you get two. Yeah. You're like, there's no way I should walk away from this day with, like, anything less than four hits. But then, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then like, realistically, I had a... So I had, when I played, when I was in Palm Beach, we had uh, Luke Voigt was there, and he was absolutely raking, and um, and he was also one of those guys where, like, every at-bat was a season, yeah. <laughs> and I remember he went, he hit, like, his fifth barrel of the day, for, like, he was, like, four for four, like, a home run, two doubles, <laughs> and his, like, fifth barrel of the day right at the right fielder, he came in. Hitting his helmet and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, it's geez. it's funny though because it's like yeah like when you get like a salvage you get like a salvage one for four one for yeah. five mm -hmm. and that one it could be it could be a single it's yeah. just like it's a yeah. barely a decent day and you walk away from the field going like yeah that's no, yeah. good yeah. but you get but you you know you go three for five <laughs> <Yeah>. damage in <laughs> <and> RBIs <laughs> but that those last two at bats didn't go your way and you're just like. I think it's like, oh, those last, <laughs> it's like those last at bats, man. Like, if you have a good last at bat, regardless of what you did earlier in the day, it's a good day. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I yeah. think if you have a good first at bat, so you hit a home run, right? And then the rest of the day, you just don't know what you're doing. Like, you look like you've never played a game before. It's like, damn, this day sucked. But it's like, wait a minute. I did have a home run, though. Yeah. You know, but it's like that last AB. I just wanted to have a good Quality AB. Mm. I don't need to get a hit. I just want a quality AB. I want a hit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that hit. Moral of the story, I don't want to knock. Yeah. It, it's so true. That last that bad. Just put it in the in the game on a high note. Like, right. Do that. It just feels so good, you know? It it really does. It really does. There's nothing like the uh there's nothing like that like the game the team is losing. And you're having a tough day, and then you get that that meaningless double. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, okay, like I don't have to be that's a starter. Yeah. That yeah. yeah. starts on top. Yeah. How how difficult is is the at bat after a home run? Uh, I find that to yeah. I like I think for me that's like probably the one of the hardest at bats for me, like going into it, as far as like, like I don't know, not like, I guess not getting ahead of it or not overthinking things. Yeah, especially if it's all the same pitcher. Same pitcher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like same pitcher. Go back out there, like I gotta get him. Like I don't right. know why I put so much pressure on myself. I'm like I gotta hit another one off this dude. <laughs> right. Yeah, when you start man. overthinking too, it's like I right, pitch I hit off, hit off him. He's not gonna throw that again. Oh, yeah. would he? And then 
he started guessing, I think. For me, I started guessing sometimes. And then it's just like, oh, boy, strike three. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, well, yeah, that's you like, hate to see it. Yeah, it's like, you got him, he got you. But I'm like, if I feel like I hit a home run off someone, I'm like, there's no way he can get me out. But, like, sometimes they make mistakes. <laughs> and they're really good pitchers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yeah, that's it. We talked about that, too. Like, we don't, we don't really hit pitchers' pitches that often. Yeah, no, like, no. when we, like, when we, it's because the guy messed up. Yeah. Like, when we, when, when we get a guy. So, like, yeah, you're like, oh, this guy, all he does is just throw hanging curveballs or, or fastballs right down the middle. But in reality, like most of the time, <laughs> that's not what he was going for. Yeah. Also, I feel like 90% of the time, the first pitch is that same home run pitch, and 90% of the time, I take it. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. It's always like, he's not going to do it again. Right. He wouldn't do it he would. again. And it's just like, here it is, buddy, do it again. And it's just like, yeah. mm, he just did it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Reminds me of the TikToks, like, they're gonna know. How are they gonna know? <laughs> like, in my mind, he's gonna do it again. Why would he do it again? He's not gonna do it again. He's gonna do it again. Just be ready. No, I'm like, nah, he's not. First pitch. Just <laughs> middle, middle. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> sure enough. Yeah. That was just a I always think too, like after a home run, a couple years ago, like maybe if I just drop a bunt down and get get two hits out of the way, it's a good day, right? But like I, I just haven't bunted in like a couple of years. Mm -hmm. I'd like, be kind of afraid, you know, like when you like try to drop a bunt down and you bunt it right back to the pitcher. Yeah. So we, I, I was talking with Jay about that. Like we were talking about like the our least favorite least favorite outcome. Yeah. And you mentioned that one. And I was saying, like, yeah, back when, like, back when the teams first started shifting, like, I was trying to bunt. Yeah. And I didn't, I'm like, my first few tries, I just bunted it foul, which mm -hmm. is, like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But then, like, one time, I bunted it back to the pitcher on, like, the first pitch. Yeah. And I was like, that can't ever happen again. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, like, whatever, I can strike out on three pitches. I can, yeah. you know, I can fall over swinging. You know, I can get hit in the head, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever happens, I'm not biting a ball back to the pitcher ever again. That's like my biggest fear. I talk myself out of bunting all the time just because of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, like my homer the other day, I went up there and I was like, I bunt. I got dug in the box and I was like, what if I bunt the ball back to the pitcher? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that happened to me last time, like 2019, at home run a game. Next AP, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be smart here. Dropping down, they are playing back. I bunted it, like a one hop right back to the pitcher. And I have not bunted for it since. I'm literally scarred. Right. No, I can't be, I gotta just, yeah. I just gotta, gotta do it sometimes. Yeah. I don't think I'd ever try to bunt after hitting a homer. Uh, the, see, I did it one time early in the year, in 2019, mm -hmm. and I got, got a hit and ended up with five hits that day, right? So I'm like, all right, because I'm at a home run. Hey, sneaky, yeah, sneaky. Uh, and then something run, I was like, all right, I'm going to drop one down again. And sure enough, I bumped it right back to the pitcher, and I was scoring. Yeah. I told, I, so Adam was on the, on the Riding the Bus podcast, and we talked about this. Like, I don't think, like, we should bunt, ever. Because, <laughs> like, how are you going to, how are you going to get an extra base hit? So, like, sometimes, like, I'm kind of bummed, like, after singles, it was just like, much. <laughs> does Slutton go down after a single, or does it stay the same? So a one for one with a single is a thousand, is a thousand slugging, right? Right. Um, but then yeah, once you get to once you get to one for two with a single, slugging. Yeah. Like yeah, like once you get out with yeah. a single, like yeah. it's yeah, it's like uh, it's automatically like under like under a thousand. Yeah, it's crazy. And there's so many. There's so many zero slugging days. <laughs> that's like, but that's kind of the cool thing because you can like, that's why I like doing the OPS because it's like, you just have days where you're just like, like, uh, 
oh, it was just a terrible day. It was just <laughs> <laughs> like you're over. It's just like you're yeah. not thinking about how it drops your average. You're just like, oh, that that like that shot my my OPS way down. Like that was just a bad day. But then like on the good days, you can like get greedy and try to get like like two thousand, three thousand yeah. OPS, and it's like. Dude, that they must have gone up so much. It really did. <laughs> yeah. But it feels like it went up way more. Yeah. Yeah. And the lid was also in line with the base. Like I remember I was running out of ground out. And I'm like, I'm running straight at the base and I go, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run in foul territory here. Oh, I'm up.